Hello everyone, thanks for clicking this video. This is Wine Story and I'm Jay. Today I'm going to explain what makes wine dry or sweet. Simply, it's all about how much yeast eats the sugar and with that sugar, how much it produces the alcohol. Look at this slope. And this one is yeast. Yeast is, a, is climbing up on the hill and to do that, it needs an energy from sugar, just like we all do at work or school. Finally, if the yeast succeeds in reaching the peak, then wine becomes dry since it's already ate up all the sugar to make alcohol. Then what if we want to make sweet wine? Well, then we want to give the yeast some difficult time. When we give it a hard time, the size, the sweet level of the wine. For instance, in the early stage, yeast didn't produce much alcohol and do have quite some leftover sugar. If the yeast is bothered then, wine turns out to be super sweet but if it has almost reached the peak then it doesn't have much sugar left then even if it's bothered wine is less sweeter than the other one let's see then how we stop it there are multiple ways to do it uh, first we can freeze it the yeast can really climb further yeast can be active once it gets warmer so before it happens, we can filter it out. Second, we can just filter it out without freezing it, well, simpler. Third, we can use a lot of sulfur to give the yeast forever peace. And fourth, high alcohol will make the yeast permanent drunk. This wine is called fortified wine. So it depends on when this fortification happens, the wine can be sweet or dry. Fifth, we just wait till yeast gets tired and halts due to overproducing the alcohol. Once alcohol level is around 15%, the yeast gets lazy and don't work anymore. However, we can actually add another assistant yeast who will push this lazy yeast through. Also for yeast to consume that much sugar, and produce alcohol, there must be enough sugars, especially to have residual sugar even after producing 15% alcohol. There are various ways to make this happen. A, well, naturally we can plant the vines in a sunny place, so naturally it produce much more sugar. B, dry the grapes either on the vines or off the vines like we make raisin. C, wood drift is scenario can also help the grape evaporate the water. Um, D, simply add the sugar in the form of RCGM, rectify concentrated grape must. And E, give it a sweet hug. Uh, no, not really. Instead, you can make an ice wine. Basically, you let the grapes frozen and only take the unfrozen concentrated juice out without the ice. So these were about sweetness of wine. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time.